The animation opens at a river where people are gathered to watch salmons migrate past the town. The people are excited and jubilate as they watch the fishes swim in and out of the water beautifully. Among these people are a father and son who stand together watching this scene. The little boy's name is Vic and he dances with his father in unison to the movement of the fish. Towards sunset, they leave the river for their home and father and son play on their way home. Vic carries him on his shoulders and gifts him a torchlight, and the little boy is happy. Vic and his father have a beautiful relationship. They spend quality time together, playing games and having fun. One day, Vic's dad gets promoted at his place of work, and his workload increases, which changes everything. His father stops spending time with him as before and spends more time at work. Another period of the salmon migration comes by, but Vic goes alone this time. His father isn't around for them to perform their yearly celebration, and this makes him sad. Vic matures and develops a passion for science and technology. He is devoted so much to his passion that he doesn't pay any attention to his schoolwork, and this results in him having bad grades. His father is notified about this and gets furious when he sees how horrible Vic's grades are. He gathers all of his son's tools and gadgets and sets them ablaze, also throwing the torchlight he gifted him away. This makes Vic sad, and he leaves his home to live elsewhere. Years later, Vic has matured into a young man and lives alone in an area called Pine Mountain. He is seen testing a machine and also trying to carry out an experiment which later fails. As Vic sadly wonders why the machine wouldn't work, he notices a shadow at the door of his workshop. Suspicious, he picks up a spanner. He checks outside his door and sees nothing, so he closes it, but does not know that a bear has entered inside. Vic feels the presence of the bear and checks around him to find it, but the bear keeps hiding from him. Soon, he realizes that two brother bears, Briar and Bramble, were the ones sneaking around. The bears try to attack him, accusing him of planning to cut down forest trees with the machine he's building. Vic fearfully explains to them that the machine he bought isn't for cutting down trees, but to double the size of every object it works on. The bears soon realize that they were wrong, and Vic kicks them out of the place. Moments later, his phone rings, and he sees that it is his mom calling. He speaks to her, and she informs him that his father is on his way to his house and this makes Vic frightened. He heads to the train station to pick his father up and to his surprise, his father is happy to see him as he grabs him in an embrace. They drive back to Vic's house but have a very awkward moment as they do not know what to discuss. The next morning, Vic's father wakes up early to prepare his son's favorite meal for breakfast and after which he wakes him from bed. Vic is happy to see that his favorite dish was prepared and he immediately starts eating. They both spend the day playing around and having fun, just like in old times. Vic's dad makes him repeat the same routine for some days, and this doesn't allow Vic to work on some of his tech stuff. He gets tired of this routine and also the fact that his father isn't making any space for him to do what he wants. One morning, Vic's father enters his workshop without reading a note at the door that instructs him not to. He walks around the place and marvels at how unkept it looks, so he starts arranging the entire place. Vic soon arrives and asks his dad what he is doing in his workshop. His father attempts to reply but mistakenly kicks a wire. This leads to a series of tools falling, and the big machine gets ignited, leading to an explosion. As the smoke clears, Vic runs to where the machine was and realizes that it has disappeared. He gets furious and scolds his dad for everything that happened. But his father explains that he tried to help, and he gives Vic the torchlight he had as a kid. Vic throws it across the floor and angrily mentions his childhood. He then instructs his father to leave his house. Inside the forest, Briar and Bramble wash in the river and also search for fish to catch, but do not see any. Bramble complains about this and wonders why there aren't any fish in the river. They see a young lady approaching, so they run to hide. This young lady is a reporter, and she takes photos of the river, also wondering why the salmons have started migrating as usual. After she leaves, the bears come out of their hiding, and they soon hear a chainsaw, so they run toward the direction of the sound. Also inside the forest, Vic sits on the floor with a torch, which changes the size of a chainsaw in front of him. Vic grins mischievously as he imagines himself finally having power over the bears. While sitting in the forest, two insects run across his face, and he catches the second one and hurls it across the bush. Briar and Bramble approach Vic and demand to know what he is up to. Vic gives them a breakdown of the function of the torch in his hands. He tells them that the machine in his lab wasn't a magnifier, but a minimizer. He mentions to them that after the chaos his dad caused in his workshop, 
He realized that the machine had shrunk to a toy-like size, so he inserted it into the torch and it effectively worked. After his narration, Vic turns to the bears to shrink them, but the gadget doesn't work and the bears walk toward him to beat him up. Vic takes to his heels and the bears run after him inside the forest. They all run across trees and rocks and finally, Vic loses balance and falls to the ground with the torchlight falling across the ground. Briar and Bramble catch up with him and grab him, but Vic tries to draw their attention to the torchlight that is sparking in their direction. The bears pay no attention to him and moments later, a spark comes out of the torchlight, hitting Briar, Bramble, and Vic. At the house, Vic's father approaches his workshop announcing that dinner is ready, but he doesn't see his son, so he heads out to look for him. In the forest, Vic and the bears regain consciousness and see themselves surrounded by plants. Bramble sees a caterpillar that he intends to eat but doesn't as a bird approaches and eats it. This bird looks gigantic to Vic and the bears, and they are terrified. It looks towards them and tries to eat them. Briar, Bramble, and Vic are saved when a young monkey grabs the bird and takes it away. The bears frantically ask Vic about what is happening, and he tells them that they are shrunk. But they do not believe him, thinking it's one of his tricks. Soon, a frog appears where they are and starts chasing them. While running, Vic reveals that the torchlight would send them back to normal. He tells the bears to distract the frog so he can go and find the torch, which they do. Soon, Vic sees the torchlight afar, so he informs the bears, and they run towards it. But, an elderly monkey leaps to pick it up, and this throws them to the floor. Vic's dad sees the torchlight and picks it up before the monkey could, and the animal sees him and runs away. He calls out to his son inside the forest and Vic and the bears reply, running toward him. But he is unable to see him because of how tiny Vic has become. Vic calls out to his dad as he walks farther away from them, but he doesn't hear and he soon falls to the ground tired. Darkness soon falls and they drag their feet around the forest, feeling tired and hungry. Bramble sees chocolate and runs towards it, but he's stopped by a sharp blade of a praying mantis. He lets out a scream, which brings his brother and Vic running toward him. The insect frightens them and commands them to leave the area which they do, but this insect recognizes Vic's face. This insect was the one that Vic caught and flung across the bush when he was normal human size. The mantis picks him up and attempts to kill him, but he is saved by another insect who fights off the mantis. The two insects engage in a fierce fight and after a while, the praying mantis is defeated and thrown far into the forest. The other insect introduces himself as Shadow Shell and Vic and the bears tell him about their ordeal, pleading that he takes them home. Shadow Shell agrees under the condition that he paid with chocolates and Vic agrees, so they set out heading for Vic's house. They arrive at Vic's home the next morning and realize that his father has left and taken the torchlight with him. He also dropped a note for his son which Vic emotionally read, after which they plan to go after his father. Shadow Shell provides a bird with which they all use to go after Vic's father. Along the way, Shadow Shell falls asleep, and they lose control of the bird, and they fall into a restaurant's dining table. They are all scared, but later notice that the people at the table are engrossed in their phones, so they carefully sneak off the table. Vic, Briar, and Bramble are soon washed off into the sewers, and they have a very long fall. As they fall, they are collectively caught up in spider webs and are soon covered in a web ball. Soon, they are attacked by a spider but are luckily rescued by a group of lobsters who fight off the spider. They introduce themselves to Vic and the bears but are interrupted by two more spiders who come out to attack them. Shadow Shell, who was asleep, suddenly wakes up and fights them off, freeing Briar, Bramble, and Vic from the web ball. The lobsters prostrate to show their respects to Shadow Shell after seeing how skillful he is at combat. They all get on a boat and Vic sadly narrates his childhood with his dad, telling everyone that he is not happy with the way he sent his dad off. Their boat soon arrives at a place called Pipesburg and Vic and the bears admire the beauty of the little city. The lobsters share with Vic that there is a drone that could take him to his dad, but it was stolen by Trickaboo, an evil insect. Vic then instructs that they retrieve the drone, and they draw their plan, and set out on the mission. The team successfully retrieves the drone from Trickaboo and his minions, so Vic and the boys head out with it to find his father. Vic's dad has boarded a train headed to his home, and he waits for it to take off. Briar, Bramble, and Vic arrive at the train station and their drone hits a monkey, thereby throwing them to the ground. Vic sees the train already moving, and he runs with all his might to make a jump but Shadow Shell holds him back for his safety. He sits on the floor, devastated when he's suddenly approached by his father's foul. 
Vic soon sees his dad chasing after the fowl, so he and his friends climb a cat and go after him. Along the road in which Vic's father chases the fowl, some boys try to hide the unconscious body of the female reporter. Vic's father almost catches them but is attacked by a monkey who followed him from Pine Mountain to collect the torchlight. The torchlight falls to the ground and starts sparking. While Vic's dad notices it and picks it up, the rays affect him and he shrinks. Vic and the bears arrive at the scene, and he runs to his dad who is confused by what happened. A cleaner then comes along and sweeps the flashlight and both of them, throwing them into the bin and disposing of them in a waste truck. The truck drives off to the waste dump with Vic and his father inside. Vic explains the situation to his dad and tells him that they need to find the torchlight to return them to normal, so they start searching. Vic later finds it, but the truck starts disposing of the trash at the dump, so he loses balance. He is caught by his dad, who carries him across the objects hits them, and throws him to the side. Unfortunately, the rest of the trash falls on Vic's father, and everywhere becomes calm with no sign of his father. Vic searches for his father and sees his childhood diary which his father carried with him. In this book, his father listed things he would do with him. Vic wails uncontrollably, wishing that his dad would come out to be with him. Suddenly, he hears his name and sees his father coming out from under a board that he sat on. Father and son hold each other in a warm embrace. They then notice that the dump is located along a river, obstructing the water from flowing and also the reason the salmons haven't migrated for the year. Vic and his father see the garbage boys who dump illegally in the river and plan to stop them from doing so this time. Some steps away, Briar, Bramble, and Shadow Shell all follow the reporter as she rides toward the dump to catch the garbage boys. Vic and his father cooperatively get into the truck and steal the key, so they won't be able to dispose of more waste into the river. Briar, Bramble, and Shadow Shell arrive at the dump and are reunited with Vic. Together, they strive to get the torchlight from the dump, but the river starts flowing, throwing them unbalanced. They all fall into the water and hold onto a rope that is guarded by Shadow Shell and Vic outside the water. Vic then sees the torchlight and leaves the rope to go get it. The rope soon cuts, drowning Briar, Bramble, and Vic's father. Vic finally gets a hold of the torchlight, so he jumps into the water with it and turns it on, swimming towards his father. A few moments later, a beam of light shines in the water. Vic, his dad, Briar, and Bramble all come out of the water and have returned to their normal sizes. They are all excited and leave for home. The next day, they all watch as the salmons migrate across the river and father and son dance, experiencing this moment like they used to. The end. If you love this video, please leave like and subscribe.